Hi guys. Um, I tried to do a video for you guys yesterday with all the new food that I had got from the farmer box that is so fresh, but, um, it didn't quite work. So my friend showed up. Um, but yeah, I have been doing really well. I'm just waiting for my third spiritual healing. I do feel like it is working. Somehow it's working. It's working like inner body stuff so I'm waiting I'll probably be really tired this afternoon um but that's all right um because she want to work she wants to work on the trauma of me dealing with um the baby stuff but I've been feeling really really good in the last like like I know I've been a little bit tired in the last 10 days but I'd say in the last or in the last two weeks I say in the last probably seven to ten days, I've just felt a lot more positive. I'm trying to think when I held the baby. I think tomorrow will be two weeks. So, I, so yeah, it's been about the last ten days. And for the last six days, I have been walking every single day. I have done two days where I have done an either an hour or an hour 38. And I have done uh, three days when I've done just over 50 minutes. And then today I did 55 minutes and I'm just walking around my area for the most part. I did do the big walk was between Missions Bay and St. Heliers. It's about 45 minutes there and 45 minutes back. And I stopped for um, some brunch with my friend. Um, and that was the hardest walk I did because it was windy and drizzling. And yeah, I'm really stoked that I am doing this and I'm sticking to it and I'm making myself do it. Um, today I went with a friend as well and we went to a park that's not far from here but obviously I can't walk to it um, and we did a couple loops of that which is cool. There is a park not too far from here that would take me about probably f I would like to say half an hour to half an hour to get to maybe a little bit longer um that I could do laps around, um, but I feel like I would be completely exhausted to actually then walk home. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to find things in the area that I can do. Um, and then when I want to go on walks with a friend, I can go on walks with a friend as well. I'm trying to do that, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I have no idea if it's some of the walking is helping as well. I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to make some progress. So that is what I am attempting to do is to make some progress, to slim down a little bit. Um, I do feel like my legs are getting stronger. Um, I even on the way to work the other day, walked up the hill that I try not to walk up at all um so that was good and I'll try to do that again tomorrow on my way to work um but yeah I don't walk longer in the in the morning because I like my sleep too much um but I walk in the evening so I'm gonna continue to keep trying to do that um and just go from there really um I would like to maybe eventually not have my bag with me. So I'm trying to think of like how I can do that for lunches and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got all this fresh produce. Um, so yesterday I had stuffed capsicums for, for lunch. I have not had any lunch at the moment and I need to soon. Um, but I have had two coffees with oat milk um, and one of them had vanilla syrup. But I haven't actually eaten anything yet. Yesterday I had stuffed capsicum. I stuffed it with leftover mints that had carrots and and um, red grain and yellow peppers in it and onions. And I stuffed it with, so I stuffed the pepper with that and some mushrooms and some Edam cheese and I grilled it in the oven. 
and yesterday I had a little mandarin that was beautiful, so fresh, uh, kiwi fruit and a peach. And then I also had a side plate of about a quarter of cup of cucumber and green beans, about six green beans. And then for dinner, I actually made myself, we call it a toasty here, but it's like grilled cheese. But I made it again with the mince and I added mushroom and onions to it. Um, and I just grilled that up and I had two liters of water. Um, I put a little bit of water droplets in just to flavor my water. So this one is kiwi and strawberry and I'm almost done that one. But I just put it in my water either here or at work. I keep it in my bag. Um, and it makes a big difference. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling really, really good. I definitely feel like a change is happening. I definitely feel like I can move to Australia, but I think I'm holding out till June or July. That's when I don't have to pay work back. And obviously... I want to try to slim down as well because it's really hot. It's a different heat in Australia, but it is very hot there. Um, I don't know what I want to do with all my stuff. My friends are thinking of moving there as well. And they said something about I could um, maybe get, it's cheap to buy like a cabin that you just pay like $65 a week and um, you kind of rent it. So I could pay $65 a week have it at the end of their thing and put all my stuff into that because I don't have a heck of a lot of stuff I don't really want to sell it unless I know for sure I am not going to um come back but I can't guarantee that at the moment I don't want to go over there thinking that I'm not coming back because I actually do love New Zealand um and I have no desire to get Australian citizenship. Um, but yeah, I am thinking that it would be, I do have my cruise at the end of um, December that I would have to come back for. And I do have um, my nephew's birthday in September that I've already got a flight Auckland to Christchurch for as well. But my thought process is, is that I could probably save more money because I would be making double, my take home would be double what I'm making now. Um, So I could then literally put a thousand dollars a week away. Um, and I would try really hard to do that because if I'm making double and I put down a thousand, that still gives me a thousand to play with. Um, so I could even put 1500 and give myself 500 to play with. Um, cause my outgoings would be literally like 700 a week all up and seven or 800 a week. And I'd be bringing home 2,500. So that it gives me a lot of extra money to play with. Uh, yeah, just to put that into retrospective, um, cause I might double that, right? <laughs> Um, almost triple that, I guess, um, of what my outgoings would be. Whereas right now, um, I'm not even, right now my outgoings are probably half. Um, but when my flatmate moves out, then my outgoings will be about 70 to 80% of my wages. So. That's what I'm thinking. And I can't advance anymore here in New Zealand at this stage unless they do something. But they've only just done something for January. So I don't know if they will bring in anything else. I think that we could stay at this level for quite some time um, under this new government. And this new government just got in. So um, definitely don't think I could advance anymore. Even if I went up to a leadership position, I still would only make like $2 more or $3 more at best. Um, and in New Z in Australia, I could make $5 or $6 more. And 
I would also um, be able to move up the ranks because they don't have as high as a qualification there as we do. So I automatically would get put into a leadership position, my understanding is, and it would be with the older school age kids, which is amazing. Um, not school age, but like the four year olds. Um, and yeah, I would just automatically go into that position and I'm highly sought after because of that, because there's not as many with that. Um, there is relocation. There's like what I came over here on and I started with a company called Radstad. There's something similar there and they actually can relocate you from here to there. So I definitely need to look into it. I definitely feel like I really feel like it's going to happen regardless of whether or not I know anyone. I actually feel like I'm, yeah, I feel like I'm about to step into my own and take the leap of faith. Yeah, it just feels stronger and stronger and stronger. And I'll talk to it with my, it could be something that's just a phase and I might not be able to do it come the time, but yeah, the desire to go there is, it's interesting because I don't think my spiritual healer was all that keen on doing it. Obviously, I can't do it right now. It's not something I need to do right now. Right now is about getting healing done and stuff like that. But I think come June or July, this healing will have come to a head, I think. And I can still do the spiritual healing. Unfortunately, I can't do restore flow, but I might be able to find out someone over there that I can that's similar. They might be connections, um, but I can still do the spiritual healing from anywhere. Um, so I can still be doing that. Um, and it's so easy for me to just up and leave. Like I have nothing here other than the stuff that's in this house. And really, I only really have like, I don't really have anything massive. Obviously, like the TV is mine, the two side tables, this little side table, this couch, a bed, like the outdoor furniture, the little spa, um, and then some tiny appliances. I have one dresser. Um, but yeah, like tiny appliances. I've got heaps of books and stuff. Like I wouldn't want to get rid of any of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. I don't even know. I just, I feel like it can happen and it can happen soon. I just have to keep an eye on time. Okay. I have an hour. I'm hoping my sister and brother-in-law will call in the next half an hour I'm hoping I just talked to my niece in America and she's actually doing Beauty and the Beast which is so cool she is not the lead she is more of like the background so she can play multiple different parts so she thinks she said something about like she could be a fork or a spoon or a knife in that section she could be one of the villagers um she could be she didn't realize that I, like, love Beauty and the Beast. And I was like, um, don't you not remember my tattoo? Like, I walked down the aisle to Beauty and the Beast. Like, Beauty and the Beast is my jam. And it's the Dearborn High School that's doing it. So the production should be actually so cool. I wish I could go. It's in about, it's in April. Um, I'd love to go. But there's just no way I could swing home to go see it. Um... But yeah, so it's so cool. So I just basically want to talk to her before she goes to that. Um, yeah, so, so cool. Um, thinking I could end up going home actually next year, February. January, February, maybe more closer to February. So that's the other reason why I would love to be in Australia first to make money, to be able to do that. Um, even if I stayed here till October and then did that, uh, went over there, that'd still be a few months. Um, because my sister and brother, my sister-in-law and brother have started the IVF journey and hopefully it means that there will be a baby next year. So that is our hope and our prayers. And obviously I will know 
by like May, June, whether or not she's pregnant and how things are going. And yeah, so I'm very excited. She's doing very much what Tara Lipinski knows. She'll know the gender. She's going to send it away for like fragment testing to make sure there's the right chromosome. So it's really, really exciting. And I feel like I'm more excited. Like I'm so excited to be an auntie again. And um, I really want to make this a different experience where I can like video chat and stuff like that. And um, yeah, coming off of finding out that I may, I do have hope that I'm going to have a child. I just don't know when, I don't know how. Um, but coming off like that, quite often this can be quite difficult for me but um yeah I've got like the most peace I've ever had about it like just giving that control to God and just saying you know what I'm not gonna think about getting a husband I'm not gonna think about getting um fertility like that journey is your in your hands and right now my journey is like my health and well-being and I know and I think that's why I'm doing like the exercise now as well um making room for it it is hard it does but the good thing is is I am at a stage where there's lots of people who might want to go walking with me or I can go walking by myself and I am trying to keep off the main road so people don't see me um so I'm a little bit on the main road and a little bit like off the main road on like little trails and stuff so um, yeah, so it's really good for me. So yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. I have no idea what I'm going to eat. Probably going to have some green beans and cucumbers for sure. She did leave me some mints, but it does look like, uh, she may have taken the Doritos with her. But that's fine. I'm trying not to eat too many carbs. So, yes, I need to figure out what I'm going to eat um, and do that and try to finish this bottle of water because I can tend to get a headache today after this spiritual thing. So I'm hoping not to do that. But, yes, I'm very excited about what's coming next. Change is 100% coming. I've felt it coming for a while, but... And the pull to move to Australia has been probably since 2014. But I've never wanted to live in Brisbane because it's another big city. And yes, Australia, uh, Surfer's Paradise is like a tourist destination, but it's still on average quiet. It's very much like kind of rural, but the beautiful thing about surface paradise is like the beach is there and I am not a beach person but there was something about surface paradise that when I went there I loved going to the beach when I was there with just grace it wasn't really that way when I was with my ex there um probably because we were so busy we did go to obviously SeaWorld but we were so busy and we were yeah, there was a lot going on that trip. Um, and that's where I went to a strip club too. And I wasn't keen on that. So there was a lot going on on that trip. And yeah, I just didn't feel like myself. I think that was, I was still healing. I was still, yeah, I didn't have the confidence. I didn't have anything. Whereas, yeah, now I was like, I am a strong, independent woman, and I'm feeling like I could just go. The beauty with Surface Paradise as well is that the train goes everywhere, and it's really cheap, including, which doesn't happen here, the airport. You can actually catch a train to and from the airport. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I would probably live in an apartment, which would be fine. Um, but yeah, so exciting, super stoked, um, yeah, for this new chapter, and I just wanted to let you guys know what I was thinking, it is February the, don't even know, 7th, February the 7th, so time is going so fast, 
my nieces and sister-in-law are going to be here in two weeks time for almost five days they're coming on a sunday and leaving on a thursday so pretty stoked and excited for that we are going to see jonas brothers i need to get up with the like, the music the jonas brothers because i have no idea um not that i think i even really like it but anyways that's beside the point i'm excited for that um i yeah hopefully we'll have enough days well i only need three days leave so i don't know how many days makes three days um i've only got 15 or something leave now point 15 um so i think every so every five days is probably two so i probably have uh, next week i should have a day um and then yeah i'm gonna have a couple days without it but she did pay me extra one day, two weeks in a row, and she said I could have those in the loo because they messed up. So I need to remind her of that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll just tell her um, because I do have savings, so it's fine. Um, I can do that. Um, so I will actually have a conversation with her about that probably closer to when I have leave. And like the week before I have a leave and just say to her, hey, because you paid me too and you said I could have days in the loo because you've paid me those, um, I'm just going to take the two days paid leave. So I just have the one annual leave day. So that should work. She's not going to be happy, but that's not my fault. She paid me for five days when I don't work five days and I'm actually on a four-day contract, so... She's done it two or three times. So, three times, actually. I think she did it for when I was on the cruise as well as the two days at Christmas. So, I think she owes me three days, actually, um, in the loo that I don't get paid for because I've already got paid for them. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll try to sort that out so we can be square. Um, but, yeah. That is what's happening. So have a good afternoon and or good evening, majority of you. And I will talk to you again in another time.